Hello, hope you're doing great. This is Maria Pani Rajan, your friendly software developer. And in this video, we're going to talk about conditional statements. So till now, we have already discussed about different types of data types that are available in Python, such as int, float, booleans, and so on. And also we have discussed about the different data structures, such as list, tuple, and you know dictionaries that are available in Python. Now, using data types and data structures, um, you know, we as programmers get to store and retrieve data in intuitive ways, right? In, in a manner that makes sense. Now, the next step, right, which basically is to start making use of the data, uh, you know, in, in a way that makes logical sense, um, you know, would be to start making use of conditional statements. Now, what do I mean by that is, you know, basically, uh, take for example, this, you know, mobile phone. We call this mobile as a smartphone right like why do we call it as a smartphone and today we even have smart refrigerators and smart air conditioners and you know smart tvs and you know so on so you know like why do we you know prefix the word smart in front of all of these machines all of these devices the reason we do that is because these machines you know like basically when we say it's a smart mission that means that mission is able to make decisions on its own right so it is able to make logical decisions for example let's take your smart mobile phone you know like when the battery you know like goes below a certain percentage it automatically you know sets itself to a battery saver mode how did this you know device which is basically an inanimate object right like how did this mission know that it's supposed to set itself to a battery saver mode when you know like its battery dropped below 15 percent how did how did this machine know that it is able to make that decision because that logic has been programmed into this machine right so that's the reason you know like these smart devices are able to make these uh, smart decisions because those conditional logics have been programmed into them to enable machines to become smarter we as programmers need to program the conditional logic to them and to do that, we have our conditional statements. Now, in Python, the if-else conditional statement is available to us, right? So, using the if-else conditional statements, we can define if, you know, like the battery is above 15%, you know, continue using all the apps and, you know, like, you know, go wild with it. But if the battery is below 15%, you know set it to a battery saver mode now the conditional statement that is available in python to enable us to program this logic is the if else statement if the battery is greater than 15 percent go wild else if battery is less than 15 percent battery saver mode now basically you know using this kind of an if and else statement we can bring logic into our software application. So till now, we have been, you know, directly programming in the Python interpreter, right? We just like launched our Python interpreter, which by itself is an application, which we discussed already, right? So we just directly typed in the Python interpreter and, you know, like uh, the Python interpreter, you know, gave the results back to us. But now you can see that, you know, for an if it's got multiple lines, right? And usually when you do computer programming obviously you will be writing multiple lines right you won't be just writing a single line of code and you can't do a lot of interesting things with just you know single lines of code so in order to start writing multiple lines of code we would need a you know code editor and we have already discussed about this in an introductory video i'll put the link of that in the description section but basically from now on we need to start you know like writing multiple lines of code and now you know like we need to start making use of a code editor and the code editor that we are going to be using is the vs code code editor so you know like uh, this is the visual studio code uh, editor and you know like the uh, way to install this and you know set it up and all is like already uh, discussed in a previous you know video and the link is in the description so after launching the vs code all we need to do is open a folder all right so i have just created a folder uh, called conditional statements uh, you know in my c drive so let me open this folder in VS Code. So I just need to go say file and open folder, right? So I just 
click on this and now we have that particular folder open and the folder currently is empty and that's the reason uh, we don't have any you know any files in it so we can directly create the files uh, python files from our vs code so we can just like and we'll say if underscore else dot py so python files need to have the dot py extension so you know like as we have created the file here you know it's just a you know like a normal py file it is created in that folder all right so this is the python syntax you know for creating the logic that we you know like uh, defined here you know? here the if is a keyword the statement that we have here within the curved braces is a condition now after the colon we have our indented statement and the indentation is commonly either a single tab or you know uh, four spaces if this condition you know is true then the statements the block of um, code that is indented under the if statement gets executed else that is if this condition is not true then we come to the else statement and uh, you know the code that is indented under the else statement gets executed so basically that's how we define the logic so it's just like english right so if this particular condition is met you know execute all the lines of code that are indented under the if statement else that is if the above mentioned condition is not true then you know execute the lines of code that are indented under the else statement so let's say you want to give your user notifications right from the point when their battery charge is less than 50 percent we can uh, you know change this to 50 only if the battery charge is above 50 you know like go wild and let's introduce another statement where we say l if which is a short form for else if and we can specify another condition here by means of using the l if statement you know and we say l if the battery charge is greater than 15 and you know like uh, what is implied over here is the battery charge would be you know like uh, less than 50 because only when this particular statement was false it would even come to the l if right because if the charge was greater than 50 it would have just printed go wild and since the battery charge is less than 50 that is it's not greater than 50 that is the reason it came here right to this statement the elif statement you know now we know it is implied that the battery charge is less than 50 five zero what we have done here is we have you know explicitly given another condition saying all right so the battery charge is less than 50 that's good but if the battery charge is greater than 1515 and less than 50 then we need to you know give this notifications saying that half the battery has been used all right and then you know like when the battery charge goes below 15 15 that's when we say you know go to the battery saver mode i hope this makes sense and let's just even see this in action now so you know like uh, from the top now if the battery charge is 90 percent it's gonna print go wild yes it does and if the battery charge is 45 percent you know like then you know it is less than 50 but it is greater than 15 so it should come here right so now it'll say half battery has been used perfect and you know like if we set the battery charge to be 10 you know then you know like now it is less than 50 so this condition won't be satisfied and it is less than 1515 as well so this condition also won't be satisfied so it comes to the else statement and it's going to print the battery saver mode statement so now if we run the program you know it prints battery saver mode so this if elif and else statement is very powerful and you know like uh, we can start giving intelligence to our uh, software programs by means of using these conditional statements so I hope this video was useful and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.